Is this the future of image AI? Hello, my friends, how are you doing? NVIDIA has presented some really interesting solutions to image AI rendering. Before we look at that, I want to remind you that tomorrow in my live stream, I am going to reveal all of the entries for my AI render challenge. So if you want to be part of that, check out the link below this video. This is the last day you can enter. NVIDIA are one of the leading companies in different categories of AI research. Might that be ray tracing, the simulation of movement in 3D space, the movement of clouds, water and fire. If you want to know more about that, I highly suggest to you the YouTube channel Two Minute Papers. Now let's have a look at what NVIDIA is doing here. In their paper, they are talking about text to image diffusion models that are using expert denoisers. So that already is pretty interesting. But on top of that, a big part of their AI model is style transfer as well as painting with words. And let's talk for a second about the technical part here. So you have a T5 text encoder, a clip text encoder and a clip image encoder working together to create the image. The benefit for that is that you can stick closer to the idea of what should be in the image, but also the text that should be in that image. So when we look at the examples here that are presented from Stable Diffusion DALI 2 and eDiffi, it says two Chinese teapots, all of them managed that so far. But then it says one pot has a dragon painting on it, while the other one has a painting of a panda. And none of the other AIs make that happen, while here you can see kind of a dragon and then a panda painting. In this image, the prompt asks for two cute teddy bears. But also it says they should be sitting on top of the grizzly bear, which happens in this image by DALI 2, but they are not teddy bears and doesn't happen in the stable diffusion image. But in the EDFI version, we have all of the things that are asked for in the prompt. More importantly, here we have two examples of correct text in the images, which is really hard for Stable Diffusion, DALI and Midjourney. But it seems like Edith I can do this pretty well, as well as at the same time sticking to what is asked for in the prompt. So this is where the clip text encoder and clip image encoder come together to create that result that matches more what you want to see. At this point, it's also interesting to talk about the expert denoises. The way image AI works right now is that it starts with pure noise, as you can see up here, and then step by step gradually turns that noise into the image you define through the text prompt. But right now, this is using the same denoiser over and over with every single step. What NVIDIA is proposing is to have different denoises that are expertly trained for these stages of the rendering so that at the end you're getting a much improved result. Next, we have the style transfer. Now here, the clip image encoder looks at the image to understand the style that we are finding in that and then tries to apply that to the image. So you can see here two solutions. One is without the style transfer, just text to prompt. And then the one in the middle, of course, has the style transfer activated. This solution to image AI creation is really important, especially as an artist, you want to have your style in the image, but especially when you want to do things that are coherent over a range of design outputs or when you are creating videos with an AI, you want to have the style transferred to the output without changing the image output too much. And I think most people who want to create videos with stable diffusion have that problem that you can have either the style there or you can have a lot of consistency with the video input that you provided. But it is really hard to get both at the same time. So having a style transfer that is independent from the text prompt is actually a very important step. Now in the last part here, we see a demo of painting with text. And this is really important. We have also seen this in the demo from Meta AI Research, where you can write a prompt and then assign different parts of the prompt to different colors that you're painting with 
on a demo canvas. This is extremely important for you to create a composition and put the elements where you as the artist desire them to be. This takes a lot of randomness and experimentation out of the equation and you can go right to the results that you want to see in the image. The awesome thing is that you can test this in a limited way right now with Nvidia Canvas. For this you need an RTX graphics card sadly. But if you have that, you can get a software where you can simply paint a landscape. I will do this here really quick for you. Let's have some grass down here. Let's create here, let's say a river. That sounds good. And then maybe also a little bit of mountains here in the background. Now the awesome thing is, while this is already a very impressive output, you can create variations just by using that slider here. And you can see that they are also very realistic and beautiful, but you can also click here on different styles that also change the day of time, but also change the season of the year. Now we have foggy mountains, we have snowy mountains, you can have a sunset here with the light coming from different directions in the image. So you can create a lot of variation and all of them are very coherent from the composition and the elements stay exactly where you want them to be. So these methods are extremely important for artists to create the style, composition and output they desire while the process is enhanced by AI to cut down on the working time and also eliminate random outputs. Let me know in the comments what you think. Leave a like if you enjoyed that video and see you tomorrow in my live stream. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah, I wish you a good weekend.